Good morning. Welcome to Caddox TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, July 17th, 2015. If you want to follow us on Twitter, go to Caddox TV. Yesterday, we reported that uh, Martin Wheatley with the uh, Financial Conduct Authority was still in line to receive his 15% pay increase despite questions about staff travel expenses as well as a uh, loss for the uh, FCA over the past 12 months. Today it's been announced that he's resigning and he's going to be succeeded by Tracy McDermott who is going to take over the role as acting CEO while the regulator searches for a permanent replacement. In Berlin today, German lawmakers have given their overwhelming approval to opening detailed negotiations with Greece on a new bailout package. The vote was 439 to 119. There were 40 abstentions. Angela Merkel needed Parliament's approval to launch talks thrashing out details of the great bailout package that was agreed to the other day. In uh, England today, actually down in Cheshire, there's a, a major event, so-called, by the police and the fire department. At least four people remain trapped after explosions and a fire broke out in a flour mill. Cheshire police have uh, declared a major incident with 15 fire engines and about 70 firefighters um, at the Wood Flour Mills in Bosley, south of uh, Macclesfield. They were called in about 9 a.m. Multiple casualties have re been reported. One person has been airlifted to the hospital. Emergency services are saying that they're battling flames in a four-story building, which apparently has collapsed. There are still four people missing. The fire department is saying that this is a dangerous situation and they cannot rule out further explosions. Yesterday, we talked about the uh, explosion at a petrochemical plant in Shandong province in China. We have more details on that today. Um, the uh, blast was a huge blast, actually, and uh, it was heard as far as four miles away by people. Police uh, evacuated uh, people within a three-and-a-half-mile area. Fortunately, the plant uh, had stopped manufacturing 18 months ago, so there was no staff on site. Um, it is believed that three storage tanks, each the size of an Olympic swimming pool, containing liquid hydrocarbon, exploded. Uh, the uh, images on uh, the news insofar as the fireball that erupted are quite striking. Um, it uh, reached the point that, this is very interesting, that the Rizhou Meteorological Bureau was called in to administer artificial rain to help deal with the fire and dilute the pungent chemical smell. The fire department had a, a difficult time extinguishing it. The factory is owned by Shitar Science and Technology Group. It's worth more than uh, about $200 million. Shitar Group owns the second largest oil field in China. It seems as if Boko Haram has struck again in uh, Nigeria. Officials there are saying that two suicide bombs have killed at least 64 people in multiple blasts in the northeastern towns of Gombe and Damaturo. Uh, police say two women suicide bombers uh, were involved. Typhoon Naga has hit Japan as, the, as expected. It's now caused the evacuation of 230,000 residents. Two people have been killed. Uh, the storm was passing over Totori Prefecture in western Japan, so it was already on the other side of the country. Um, it's done havoc on domestic air travel. About 94 flights have already been canceled. And in Greece, firefighters are battling large brush and forest fires on the outskirts of Athens, as well as down in the country's uh, Peloponnese region today. It's forcing the evacuations of at least three towns and several summer camps. Um, they're using um, firefighting planes, firefighting helicopters, as well as fire engines. In the Greek capital of Athens, a large brush fire is burning across Mitos Hill. Strong winds are helping the flames to devour parts of the hillside, which are popular with uh, tourists. Forest and brush fires are common during Greece's uh, hot, dry summers. In 2007, there were massive forest fires in Greece, which killed more than 60 people. That's the news for today. Matt Bernat will be doing the news next week. I'll be in London. If there's anything of interest over there, I will uh, come on and do a broadcast as well. Thank you for watching, and have a good weekend.